Welcome back to MCOC Al Bundy Rolls. So I decided to try out my new R3 cable and incursions out of some fun and I realized how completely dominating he can be. I do have the Apocalypse Energy running with him. And main part is the synergy right there. And we'll see just completely decimated that fight using more hurts than I really needed. But first sit down here. These are all going to be out of Sector 7. I just wanted to see what he could do here do along the waves decide to go and activate that horseman pre-fight ability too not that he really needed that much but figured hey why not i have no one else to use it on during this so now this is going to be fight two right here going to already seeing professor x melting like crazy and nice and easy four hits completely wiped out see how quick and smooth and in the triple figure health pool here 107,000. have my cable go ahead and just slam that heavy right into She-Hulk. Do another one. And just look at those degeneration. Just kind of back off and let her just melt away and fall down. Another easy quick four hit. Just looking at the damage really puts things into perspective when you're looking at these massive health pools or decent health pools, I guess I can't say massive, and how few hits it really takes. They just kind of melt away. Again, these are some runs from incursions. Uh, Sector 7, another four hit right there. And again, the 100,000 range of health as they're melting away. Not a big fan of incursions. I used to like them. They just take so long. But I'm like, you know what? I got this new cable R3. I want to see how he feels in some kind of content that has some decent health pools but isn't going to take forever and can do some kind of cool little different nodes along the way and buffs. So, so far, he did not disappoint there. Another only six hit along the way. And so now going to the Cosmic Ghost Rider fight, as I've already gone through a handful of fights in very, very little time, which is nice. Most of the time this video is like loading time. Very little of this video is actually the fights. The fights just melt away. I mean, Cable is just a speed demon in fights. Could make him even quicker if I threw some more hits in there. But again, only another six hits needed for that KO as I'm working towards the 13. Double check in the nose with the cable. I barely even check in the nose most of the time on the incursions. I just kind of just say, okay, I'm going to heavy them a couple times and then so be it. I should be fine. And that's theory and philosophy worked out pretty dang well. So Electro is getting a little aggressive. I'm I'm trying to back off and let him melt away. And finally he falls. He was getting a little hyperactive on that AI, but only four hits were needed for that knockout. Now we're looking at the Mole Man. Oh man, looking at the quick look at the buffs, the 170,000 range right here. So going to go ahead and do what I've been doing. Just throwing those heavies, whether it be parry heavy, whether I'm able to uh, punish a missed heavy or a missed special with the heavy. That is the main goal. I'm looking at the degenerations right there. So I believe I got enough. And you just look at all those red numbers just ticking away like crazy. I'm just going to back off as long as I keep backing away. Usually they're not going to throw the special most of the time. And I'm just letting the DOT do all the work. That way I don't have to worry about messing around with the special or trying to dex or block damage, blah, blah, blah. Just, I see I got enough DOT going on them to let them finish themselves, right? So that's the way I'm rolling with this. And now we got this Punisher 2099. We see those DOT pretty red numbers degenerating let them melt let them melt and bam all right also seems some decent damage on the heavies themselves but i love those dot's and boom down he goes he's coming from at me running and right before he gets to me he just somehow does a complete 180 and falls face down backwards anyway yeah too much too much for him to handle now we got the doctor strange as these fives we're seeing again barely respectable health pulls just melting away did a recent video with cable 2 my first video of him with has an r3 the one i also show my other new r3 black widow claire and i um, was showing cable doing those um rol 550,000 fights and maybe under 30 hits. Showed him do LOL fights with a 1.5 million health pulls and around 90 hits. I mean, Duke can just melt the damage away. And with so few hits is nice. 
with the DOT because that allows for um, to not build up as much power. Unlike champs that are doing high hit counts, going to keep building that power up. So I can usually kind of manage that and let them melt, melt, melt away. Down goes that Moon Knight. Eight hits on that one. Now going into the Red Guardian fight. Getting closer to the end of my 13 fights and 76 hit extravaganza here in Sector 7 of Incursions. All right. Let's see the helpfuls get higher in the later rooms of course which is which honestly even though the health pool starts to get probably twice as high that we're starting it's only adding extra two four hits at most here still finishing that fight at only six hits here looking at a hundred and ninety thousand health pool proximal midnight and let's see what we do here let's take a while guess what i'm gonna do yeah i'm gonna parry it heavy aren't i there we go hey if it ain't broke why fix it Look at that. Got a thing of beauty there. I see all those degenerations. Looking at that health. Going down, going down. I'm just going to keep backing away. Let her kind of follow me. And in mid air drop kick or something, she just falls flat down. Only six hits and almost 200,000 health pool. Hoping you enjoyed that. A little bit of fun. Don't forget to click that top left icon. Subscribe to MCOC Al Bundy Rolls. Turn those notifications on. All right. Like, share the videos. I uh, got lots of good content for you that will help between walkthroughs, tutorials, and much, much more. Thanks always for watching.